the CUBN Christian United Broadcasting Network. We're located at CUBNlive.com. You can also come to our website and enjoy all what we have. We've got all the latest news. We've got all of the uh, little trinkets we can buy in the store. And then you can go in the chat room and chill and just talk stories with the fine Christian people we got there. We got a couple of shows that we do. We got the little girls doing their little Bible stories. And we've got Lisa doing her thing. Praising the Lord. Amen. All right, news hour. All right, here we go. Michael Phelps has a powerful message for teammates who cried at the Olympics. Mr. Phillips is kicking butt. <coughs> I didn't think I was going to cry. I was too tired to cry. I didn't think I could cry. After achieving his 19th gold medal last night, we all know that Michael Phillips is no stranger to the Olympic podium. So he wanted to give the younger guys a bit of advice that you wouldn't necessarily anticip anticipate coming from the most decorated athlete of all time. I told them beforehand, it is okay to sing. And it is okay to cry, Phillips said. It is good to see the emotion out of those guys. And it shows they really do care. They were so amped as one of the old guys. It is pretty cool to see. Sure enough, as he stood up there with his teammates, Khalib Dressel, Ryan Held and Nathan Adrain to sing the national anthem, the waterworks, and so, and it was quite a beautiful moment. Held got particularly emotional as the tears streamed down his cheeks, and Phillips embraced him as if to give his teammate some extra assurance that it's okay. I didn't think I was gonna cry. I was too tired to cry. I didn't think I could cry. Hell told USA Today, I've heard the national anthem hundreds of times, but as soon as that played, it was just something different. The tears just started rolling down my face. The 21 year old was beyond honored to be a part of Phillips Olympic team and was so grateful for his encouragement. Holy cow, it's unreal, unbelievable, said Held. To be with him and to be teammates on his last hurrah. It's amazing. Phillips got pretty teary-eyed himself as he revealed in his Olympic comeback. After hitting rock bottom and battling a bout with suicide, Phillips says Jesus brought him back to his feet. He's a totally new man. Standing there, accepting his 19th gold for the 4 by 100 meter freestyle relay. You would have thought it was his first. In a culture that says real men don't cry, it's pretty amazing to see these strong men lay all their tears out there on the floor. There's no shame in being vulnerable. And is competitive and is captivating moment is living proof. Wow. That is amazing. How a man can be on top. Go back down. And get back on top again. It only happens in the USA. And it only happens when you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Michael Phillips has a powerful message for teammates who cried at the Olympics.